welcome back to another vlog. I'm sure most of you are here from the Tulum vlog. So welcome over. So this is the official start of the Cancun vlog. I am sorry to have caught you in this position, but with a um, shave my stomach and my boss my nipple. Kiss me rock. I mean, that's just what happened. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. That's so I'm, 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 I'm bleeding profusely right now because we're about to head to a pool party. So, um, yeah, very opportune, right? But anyways, welcome one and all to Cancun, Mexico. Much like the Tulum vlog, I'm gonna guide you guys along, let you guys know cost, transportation, things to do, and stuff like that. So, um, welcome in, um, support all the content across all my platforms, Instagram, TikTok, you know, Facebook, like, leave a comment. Everyone is getting ready. So yeah, see we are. Um, my side, I have a quick story time. I'm gonna see how quick I can make it as possible. I'm staying at the old Cancun, which is the urban oasis in Cancun. And I said to myself, all right, fine, Rowan, pick a place where cl in close proximity to Wolipa things, right? So it's close to the airport. I can step out. There's a McDonald's, there's a Burger King, there's, there's a Walmart. Like, you know, a little quick um, place where you can get little snacks, little sandwich, little juice, a late night. You understand what I say? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. And also in close proximity to all the activities in which we're doing. Cool. Look up on booking.com. We'll find a nice little place. Bear in mind, majority of the places here in Cancun are very like apartment driven. And if you're not staying there, you're gonna stay at like a hotel, hotel, which is like all inclusive. But I want walk up and do the things them. So I'm gonna say, alright, fine. We'll find a nice little place here. It look like a fabulous, close to my standard. You understand what I'm saying? All right, cool. People, I'm gonna get to the new, no, 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 no lie. Look outside. Look outside. Bear in mind, the door kind of odd for you. You wanna hear that tumble down there? All right, look outside. Pool, beautiful, waterfalls, one heap of excitement. You see what I keep? Looking lovely, there are cabanas over there. You understand a nice spa is over there. The people them say urban oasis, all right? Cool. I'm going to carry on down to the lobby. I'm going to carry on down there. And Sage, I want you to put in the picture them of the place from booking.com. All right. This is the room. Please look at the roof. Okay, look at the roof. Okay. The first indication that gave it away was when I stepped out that elevator from the lobby in a lobby. Fabulous, I'm gonna show you when I go downstairs. People, look at the room door. Are you still my bold tip because I'm nobody come in by me. Look at the room door, people. I hope the camera is just picking up, first of all, the door lean on the wall. So lean. See the little um, powder area, right, Tessa? This is not so bad. The bathroom door. Please don't look at the door. They're going and make a no. They're going and look. Please don't look at what's keeping, guys. I really hope the GoPro is picking up. Look in the corner and the crevices of what's going on right here. Oh my god, watch out right here, son. Matt, you know how long I'm going to see Matt? Oh my god, look at the look, look, look at the shower. Oh, yes, I killed me, do you know? Yeah, yes, I killed me. You see all the players grow out and mighty man. Watch the shower, man. Oh my god, the door is going to kill me. No, man. The local room is not bad, you know? But it's not what was advertised on the booking.com You saw the lampshade lane? My god man, at least I have Netflix on the TV Jesus I go downstairs and show the lobby because the lobby don't look nothing like how this room look I go show you the hallway too Never show you the hallway Because when the elevator bus and I say no man, I two different hotel this The lobby fabulous, pristine, nice, cute Come here, look from booking, and I said, No, man, the other place, them don't look. Mm -mm. Them don't look. Mm -mm. This was the closest to art, fine. This could have worked with. When I come into the when I come into the room, I said, Wow. When I see the roof, 
I'm gonna show the lab before me. I go downstairs. I wanna have everybody ready. I get on my couches. Put on the chapstick. I head down. I head down. You wanna know, come with me? So the pizza all the way here. So the pizza all the way here. You wanna know, look and tell me? You wanna know, judge the all the way, you know? Judge the all the way. Judge it. Look and tell me. See all this right here, so? Look at the vibe. Look at the aesthetic. Of what's keeping. Just look. I mean, I've got in at the lobby now. Because I want to understand what is keeping. People, this is the lobby. This is the lobby. Yeah, this okay. Fabulous. Nice. Christine. No man, look at look at the lobby area. Just look. Just look. Just look at the tone. Up there says a little salon. Over here is a nice little sports bar area. Just to look at what's keeping. Look at the vibe. Look at the vibe. Look at the tone of the place. You know, nice look at TV. I'll go up on the next side now, cause I really want to believe me when I say I walk into the little hotel and I say, oh my god, she not bad. I'ma bust the elevator door and come in from my floor. I'ma say, oh my god, all the people that managed to do this to me. Watch us, man. Cute. I wanna reach out from the um the pool area yet. Wanna reach out from the pool area yet? Yes, I will check in at everything. This is the front desk. The people them all have a look at Checkout Express, even though I'm waiting in a line. Them have a look at Oak and Cone, you can't touch me. I look at directory. Look at the place, guys. Just look. Cute. Put your ear out the saw. You know, I look at coffee bar. You get a little sandwich, a little dessert. You understand what I'm saying? Cute. Cute. I look at salon over here, sir. Eh? Look at the lighting fixture, them and everything. I'm going to give it to that another little room. And the room is so dark, I can barely see anything with the two little old lamps, them with the lean shade. I'm not stop class to play. I'm not stop class. I picked up the and grabbed my money already. So disappointed. So disappointed, though. Oh my gosh, man. Sage, pull up the picture, them from booking.com. Oak and cone, the urban oasis, and look at the rooms. And look, I'm, I'm put it, put it again, so I'm sure you a while ago. Come, we're good for the pool deck. I'm gonna wake up this morning, I'm gonna feel so depressed. I say, Oh my god, why do people let me do this to me? Watch the little mat right there, so cute. Oh, find a little pool area now, pop guys. Fabulous. Watch the man. Fabulous. Fabulous. Eh? Look at the tower station right here, so Watch your man, fabulous We're not done Over here is a nice little restaurant called Bites Eh? Up there so you have your nice little cabanas with your day beds Look at bar there right here, so Cute Eh? Cute And then you, you go in at the room And you say no man I wish it was my day Now look at back road vibes No man I'm not done class. I'm not done class. I'm not feel good to make it everything out of my system. I have to class them and bring them down to the ground. Them I have to go down. Watch on outside paint and nice and I keep on telling myself so well maybe they have not reached the room yet. Maybe the picture they put up is the inspo or where they want to go. But still false advertising man. False advertising. Anyways. I'm gonna look and see the people that I'm ready. We'll go to a nice little party. So the party is called Coco Bongo. There's a day experience and there's also a night experience. So we're gonna experience both of them. Um, the day experience is $60 per person and you get unlimited drinks. You have to bring your ID, towel, and cash, of course. And yeah, let's go. Sorry for the rando, guys, but let's go.
Yes, Lord, I made it back to my pizza hotel room. <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible. It's just that I feel some type of way because it's just not what was advertised. And I thought to myself, I was like, maybe they have those rooms somewhere else on property. I don't know. We're back from Coca Bongo, which was, oh my God. We went to a place after called Senior Frogs, which, <sighs> Some, I, I probably included a couple clips. I'm not sure what I got from there, but it just further reminds me that Mexico is so customer-driven, so experience-driven, it's just so insane. Anyways, Coca Bongo. So Coca Bongo is a must-go in Cancun. There's a daytime one and there's also a nighttime one. So we decided to go to the daytime one today. I think the nighttime one will go at the end of the week, which I'm gonna take you guys with me. But just to run down the daytime one, people, honestly, if I end up staying here, like moving to Mexico, you guys will, I am not a party person. I, I am not a party person. Trust and believe, I am not anymore. Like, it's the same thing over and over again when you party in Jamaica. Same DJ, same music, same people. People, same trushing, same step and repeat, same grass. Like, no disrespect, but it's just the same thing, you know? Um, but here, oh my god, people, I parted from 12 o'clock to 7 p.m. non-stop. Okay, we paid $60 to go into Coco Bongo and Monday and Tuesdays they have like a couple special but we paid $60 to go in, you get 10 free drinks and you get unlimited food. Food is hot dog, hamburger and something else but it's unlimited throughout the day and unlimited drink shots, whatever. They said 10 but it was given very unlimited. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think they were keeping track but there's wi-fi there and people oh my god from the foam to the to the dancers to the contest they were having um to just little parts of the experience that they just made unique to them a lady had a gun with champagne as the bullets and she was shooting it across to people oh my god it was and then the balloons came out and i don't know it was trust me people 10 or 20 out of 10 would recommend to a friend honestly like wow you see the photos online you see the videos but like actually going there and actually having a good time is i don't know the vibes is immaculate and nobody now watch nobody everybody just come to have a good time and oh my god so good guys honestly so good you can buy the tickets on their website um or you can buy them on via tour or i think it's get your guide but yeah it was 15 minutes from where we stayed in cancun which is our hotel and yeah it's on the strip where majority of all the all-inclusives are on I cannot wait to experience the nighttime Coco Bunga. I just, I cannot wait. I just know it's gonna be amazing. I just know it's gonna be epic. People, I'm having such a good time. It's not, it's unreal. Anyways, in the morning, we should go to ATV, I believe. I think we're gonna go ATV riding. Probably in the mud or something like that. Um, But yeah, I'm, wow, today was, and I'm not even like 100%, I don't know. I think just the adrenaline of the excitement of everything just be I don't know people I should be tired but I'm not a hundred percent but anyways I'll catch you guys in the morning okay bye good morning guys um we are well it's afternoon right but for the first time on our semester good good morning after good morning after the noon we're actually on our way to do the atv right now and um uh, yeah we've been at traverse for a while um 
longer kill me. Foot never crumple. My foot are crumbled now. And the bus sting. Bus is very frowny. So frowny. Green. So green in this bus. And we can't walk my window. Can you see her? Yeah, remind me and tell me the things I'm going to say, you know. Turbo, 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 turbo. But you look like a weed is, you know what? You look like a weed is. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not turning off. Uh, Papi, how long? How long? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Jesus. Ten Mexican minutes. Two hours, American. Ten Mexican minutes is actually ten Mexican minutes or twenty. Two hours, American minutes. Two hours American minutes. No. I joke him, I make him. I'm not joking. Now, relax, sleep. Oh, relax and sleep. It's Here it is. Oh, it's vacation. Oh, so we have things to do. That's it, man. So we made it. It's like a nice little parky park. Our tour guide is gonna be Raul. So now they're over the bar. Um, restrooms are over there, so. There's zip line in here. There's food and there's drink included. And we got transported here as well for... How much did we pay? How much dollar? 135 US to pay? Wow. Well, we paid 135 US and you get ATV, zip line, food and drink and transportation to the place from your hotel. Oh, and there's also Cenotes here. So if you want to go to the Cenotes, that's also included. So to the ATV them over there, so. I'm gonna have to catch them. But this is where I guess they start to do the zip line and stuff. This is like if you want all day or something. But it also took us so long to get here though. Like, I think it was close so I feel like I'm go back at Solo. I'm hungry though. Taking care of you guys, okay? I usually work at the, at the Ibero Stars um, Resorts as a chef, but when we have a special guys like you, VIP, I have to be here. I have to get ready and go back at the resort tonight, but before that, I really want to have fun with you guys, okay? okay. And I don't know, for some reason, look, I start feeling the good energies, and I like that, okay? Um, I know uh, pretty much, I know you guys doing um, zip line, you're doing um, ATVs, horseback riding, and a cenote, right? Do we have any coupons or balance to pay? Georgina? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, what a man, Georgina. Come sit down, get some Georgina. We can have evil Georgina. And you know, you guys have a. It's gonna be sixty dollars. Just one second, okay? Yeah, call it Georgina money. Georgina, we can watch. Come sit down, get some Georgina. What do people have money? We can Georgina. I want to know, like, we are only one family right now. We're not a family. Me and Georgie are not a family, because we're not people money. Like, like I say, I wouldn't know. Can I take off my hat? I can do it with my cap. Can I take a zip on them? Yes, sir. You need to put on your harness, sweetie. Yeah. Next. Go on, ladies first. All right. Ready? Yeah. What is every door? Papi. Iki piki. You kick your feet in. Yeah, cell phone. And you look left, pull it on the phone. <laughs> Arriba, the man. Arda, it's every door. Put up your foot first, Arda. 25 seconds. Two, three. So, we completed the zip line, and now it's time for the ATV. Ready to go, my son. It's automatic, puppy. Just gas and brake. Back brake. It's okay. easy, okay? The cell phone, guys, when, when we drive, guys, we can use it, okay? When we get there for the other place, you can use it, okay? But now when we drive it, yes. After the tour, you can take a picture, no problem. But when we drive it, puppy, no, it's for safety, okay? When you're ready, let's go. Come to start, guys. Ready. Come on, Tear up piece of road. Tear up that one. Yeah.
Dog. You feel my dog. Oh, you're yeah, my Oh, you're yeah, Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. Yeah, you have to do that quick. Wow. Up here, your lash. Your lash white. Your lash white. <laughs> Yo. Why would you say my favorite dog? Yo. No, talk, let's talk about it. <laughs> Why would you say that? Watch out your ear that's so white. Be my old man. Jesus Be my old man. Pure gray. What you just said? Oh my God! You just like wow. Oh no! I had a good time. Yo. Oh, I'm not lie. I'm not lie. The last half this so. My last half this up on the stretch. And the man give a little lens for this one hero piece of the jungle. Yeah, man. The ATV are fabulous. Jamaica too slow, slow. The zip line underwhelming. No brakes. I was nervous. Come to the second one. Let's all this easy, man. No, man. The ATV are fabulous, man. And the jungle are so. I just pure dust, guys. So we are dusty clothes. <laughs> dust appropriate clothes. Alrighty, guys. Well. We're heading back to the main area to have some lunch and so far we spent so what time what time did we get here? Two o'clock? So it's 5 30 now, so we spent three and a half hours here thus far. Look, not not really complaining. At the time the ATV was definitely my highlight, so yeah, let's go. All right, guys, we made it back. No man, this a, is a dog food, man. Look at the portion size here. Look at them, look at them moon the rice. It cool? Jesus Christ, that's so sad. I had a very good experience, though, guys, on the ATV. What do you think, Cassie? It was great. I had a good time. So now I am? It was a really great day. The zip line? You know, like the excitement, but by myself, it was good. Like, I just need some time. Okay, turn on your face. Awesome. Would you come back, Manoa? To this place? Yes. No. One time is good enough for me. I don't need to do anything twice. Oh, this is pepper, guys. If you want to spice the food, I make it nice. Make it so awful. So, guys, we paid 133 US again. The bus pick we up. We never know, so I'm pick up other people, but it's alright. It took us two hours to get here because it's actually not in Cancun. Where did Tanaya play the way? Puerto Cartas. <laughs> yeah. We're in Puerto Morales, guys. The package that we bought was Zipline, ATV, ATV, Sinote, Off the Road Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> but they also have horse riding. Pepper Avul, man! <coughs> Skirt! Nice. Oh, but we can make tacos with this. What would we do? This, this yeah, put it in our amigo. You don't have to work out. I'm putting like a pepper in this girl. But yes, guys. For me, it's just the communication. I didn't know that we were gonna pick up other people. I thought that we were the only airport. I mean, airport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought we were the only hotel pickup. I might not say so far. Let's so we we'll get drinks. So the igloo up there on the side of the counter. Do you want some of drinks? Do you want some of Yeah. Just to money. Wow. Good morning, guys. We're heading out today. We're gonna go I'll do a little walking off the mall, a little walking off the strip. You know, that's the kind of vibe we're on today. Last night, we went to Fred's Seafood and Raw. Bar. It was a cute little experience. It was right by the dock, by the water. Um, at the bus stop, this. And yesterday's excursion was very nice oh, until I'm gonna tell you about last night. Now, the dirty driver man. I remember me showing a Ruben right in the dirty bus. You so far away, I walk. Ruben, it went a little up. We over the money exchange over there. So we cross the road. The night traffic over Mexico, yeah. So I went a new Mexico to that. We know we know what we are going like we don't know because you picked us up from the hotel, carry us back to the hotel. 
A, come and talk about house. Like, it's just easy. Class road, class road. We're not cross on Ross Road, dirty man. After we spend the money for you, come pick up our hotel. You pick up at our hotel. And you drop it off way out there. So, I said, we disrespect him. I said, if we could have beads, Ruben would beat him. I talk about him, don't see the problem. I was like, you know the problem. He carry everybody else back at them hotel front door. I let you off at the mega road, way over there, so way over there, so the man let you off. I see how we don't listen, we are still. I said, hey, I said, hey, we got beach, Ruben, like I said, we got gang, you see. Come out there, stand up and I talk about, no, it's just right there, Trinity, but Trinity, you see, because it's a one way for go up and a one way for come back down, you never want to go up and make the turn. But let's go off on our side of the road because there's a median in between it and it's a one way. Dutty man, Dutty Ruben. I will class him and say, I tell him not getting a tip. Hear him now? You ain't got to worry about me. You ain't got to mess up. Me not worry about you, Dutty man. Carry back about hotel. You disrespect him, you say. Put that gang him and beat him, and they were gang him and beat him in the bus. Come on, come pull the door. So rude. Anyways, we are come go out to um, the bus stop now. Tonight I wanted to take the bus down to the hotel zone. So. We're gonna take the bus for the experience of it. I have my pesos. I think it's 10 pesos. We're gonna do that. The big row of bus. Buddy? Oh. Put up the spot up for the bus. Jesus Christ. I give me um, some of the vibes. Jesus Christ. I give me JUTC vibes. Growing up on my own, yeah. Murder. Jesus. God, we can't believe we're up on the bus. This rock man. Oh God, my trauma signs. This thing give me every oh, 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 oh my God, I am traumatized. So I see it yourself. So I see it yourself, man. We have a nice thing up on the bus. Wow. This thing give me J U T C I like it though. Oh my God, this I bring me back to my charges on my middle of days. There's a place called Gabby's, but on this little stretch, it, this is their little back road. I'm just here to buy um, stuff from the local vendors, and I came to look at the avenue for research purposes only. You know, just to see what it is like. There's nobody out here right now selling any vagina, but uh, I'm in. I come here. Let me show you my shit. I'm shy. I got big pistola. Bombo. Ah! <laughs> Boy. 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 So um what you buying baby? Let us know what give us a haul. Well, give us a haul. One, two, three, pop two. Okay, oh, <laughs> so now give one bag, one scan back to the bag. So we need it out to the mall. Honestly people, I would say that if you're coming to Mexico, please ensure that you have cash. Okay? To take like taxis and stuff. I mean, we took the bus down here to the other part, which wasn't a bad experience at all. It was only two dollar, well, 12, 12 pesos. Um, we took the R2 bus and it carried us down to the hotel zone, and we took a cab from there 
from the flea market to here. Um, but I will recommend that you guys definitely have money, have cash. You need US and you need pesos. Trust me. If you wanna get around, you're gonna definitely need that. There's Uber as well, and Uber is very inexpensive. Very, very inexpensive, but the Uber does not pick up from like Coco Bongo, Senior Frogs, like up by the flea market, they don't do Uber right there, but everywhere else in the hotel zone, you can get an Uber. We're heading to Louis Vuitton right now, a little Gucci, and then we we'll take on the rest of the little mall right there, so. Cute? Cute. This, yeah man, this is the bad moments, 3,200. All right guys, so I think I'm going to get these. I think I'm gonna get these, they're very nice. This, and I need a toiletries bag. I'm gonna not get it now, but what do you guys think? I love it though, I love it. This is the angle for my foot. And I want a toiletries bag. Remember, yeah. So I would definitely get this toiletries bag to just complete my set. This is very nice, but I need to make it because it definitely matches my current Louis Vuitton little side bag. And this is the vibe I'm going for. I want to get the duffel. This is the duffel I want to get, guys. But probably not this one, probably a smaller one, I believe. I saw the smaller one in New York, I think. And I think that one is also 3,000 something. But, I'm gonna complete my set. I'm gonna complete my set. I cannot go up to the carry-on as yet because really and truly, I don't want them to mash up my bag. And I'm not gonna spend so much money for them mash up my bag. So I'm gonna load that one there. So I'll do the duffel, my backpack. You guys know my backpack. So guys, we're at Coco Bunga. So we went to the day party, which you already saw earlier in the vlog. This is the night show, which is, I've heard very good reviews, so. Gentle people. Ah, lordy, 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 lordy. It's a beautiful day in Cancun. Still my balcony. And when I see that shirt here again, I'm so sorry about that, people. I am so sorry about this shirt. I never packed any going out in clothes to come. I don't know. This is the first trip I've ever been on where I'm uh, get overwhelmed packing because it, it's a week. And up here, and based on the itinerary, up here going out clothes, I put in at a bag. But if I put no sleeping clothes, no casual clothes, I would not reach out me and say, Oh my god, Rowan, why would you do that? No, like, so this is about the third time when I said that's up here. God bless it. And my clothes, I'm here, money feet, and I can't wear it back. Can the comments say amen? Repeat short sure. ownership. But um, it is the morning after Coca Bongo, people. People, by the way, inside joke. For the persons who have been keeping up with the trip and watching my stories, you guys have seen that everywhere we've went, we've told people that it's Tanania's birthday. 
if you haven't seen the stories, it's so funny because everyone was always saying Sana never did. But yeah, follow me on social media if you're not following me on social media. Yeah, yeah, I carry everywhere. But Coca Bunga last night, my side, fabulous. 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend. So fabulous, so good. The production, the execution, the attention to detail, the well oiled machine that it is to deliver such a customer based experience. I'm telling you, people from the servers they literally check and say, Are you okay? Do you need anything? As you're done with the food, them take it off and wipe the place. Bear in mind, it's food and drinks inclusive, but the food is just a little burger slide and a little bit of dog. It's nothing crazy, but. VIP and that's what not for just fifty five US dollars. Um, for general purses you pay I think a hundred and fifteen dollars. Um, but yeah, so the gold, the gold, the gold member package is one hundred and fifty five. I think the one above us was I think two hundred and fifty dollars if I'm not mistaken. But you guys can look into that. It's on Pokabonga's website. But so my hundred and dollar, I'm not selling a lie. I'm still my money. Pokabonga one fabulous last night. So fabulous. I had such a good time. And we got there a little bit before 10 o'clock. And I think showtime started at 10 o'clock. I'm 10 o'clock or straight at 1 o'clock. They're not giving a rest. They're not giving a time for sit down. They're not giving a chance. They said, why this boring in nothing, people? May I tell us that they may have it. This entire Mexico trip has just been just centered around the customer experience. And I must say, Mexico, I give you a 20 out of 10 for just that. People, if you know one book, look at Mexico trip. I don't know, think you know how much it is. Okay, no, I, I promise you. If you follow my Tulum vlog and you follow my Tango vlog, you can get like a little inside scoop of some little place where you can go. But, yeah, fabulous man. Fabulous people, so fabulous. Excellent, excellent experience. And again, a chance in a Coca Bunga from rest. And not just Coca Bunga, just all the other places I've been to. I'm telling you, amazing. This is one of, this is probably one of the best trips I've been on. And yes, the people I went with allowed me to have a good time, but I believe even if I didn't come with them, honestly, people. Would I enjoy myself by myself? I know. I would definitely. Definitely. Anyways, um, I'm gonna eat from morning, come and get up and I start up a footage of my content for the people. I'm telling you anything you see for any social media, go watch it, go like, leave a comment, something, because I've been so committed to this trip and the content. I'm big up my editor, Sage. Sage, big up yourself anyway, you're the girl. Yeah, man, the turnover time I've won fabulous. Cut the show. Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to run to see if I can try the cake. I've tried the McDonald's here. It's not bad. Um, it's actually pretty good. So I'm going to see if I can try the KFC in Mexico. So I'm going to run to do that now. I don't know if anybody wants to come, but it's a 15-minute walk and a 4-minute Uber drive. I'm not walking. I think I've walked enough in Mexico. So I'm going to go taste KFC. So... Let's go, guys. We're on our way to KFC. Them, them right out the Kentucky Fried Chicken from the wall, you know? <laughs> Jamaica, don't do that. They have family box, they have wings, they have mega box. Let's see. Nice. All them have big box, they have the burger, them. All them food look good from the kitchen, now they have nuggets. And they have apple pie. They have apple pie. Box. They follow all like a big box. So they buy the cash. So you have to buy the side, the, the price by itself? No, it's just for those who don't have. I guess the, I guess the service I can't see universal. I don't understand. So damn, very on brand. So uh, mashed potato or salad? What do you prefer? Mashed potato. Mashed potato yeah. too. Mashed so potato. potato. Base cash or credit card? For the moment, I don't have bread in the credit card. The machine Mix. Okay, the so, machine so have... This is really outrageous. This is really outrageous, guys. A thousand pesos in a KFC. That's so outrageous it is. So far, KFC is universal. Um, it has crossed the border from English 
speaking countries to Spanish speaking countries because I feel like I just went through a PIP exam to order this food. The struggle was real, honestly, and it had nothing to do with language barrier because he understood English. It was just and the car machine at work. So shall you see our car? A true black you know? A true they have riders here personally though. And now seven career. But we're about to see if this thing or lives up to the hype. But they have a lot of options though. This is the two piece guys. This is the this is the this is the, the pie and the burger and the five piece of chicken. Oh, so the so the so the so the um so the so the um something of the year. What you call this? Tender. Yeah, but my asking for jalapeno door and a little snacker. Let me see the fries on the side. Disrespectful. Fries are good so far, guys. The fries are nice. This is the spicy. This is the spicy chicken. Our regular crunchy. Oh. Oh, the jalapeno sauce. It tastes like um, it tastes like original chicken with crunch on it. The jalapeno sauce. Yeah, oh, jalapeno sauce, guys. I was about to keep on it. It's cute. Okay. Not bad. Cute, guys. I give it an eight out of ten. The chicken and fries, yeah, muy bien, muy 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 bien. Everyone just can't eat. Oh wow, this is a little tough. It tastes like a just that like this is universal dry. Universal dry. Yeah. This is the tenders, y'all. This is the barbecue, even though we have a jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Very saucy and nice. A little spice for it, too. The barbecue sauce season, too. Yeah, and this is a very good um, tender, guys. Juicy and nice. I like it. Really nice and glazed. No complaints. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is like a sandwich. Is it a snack up? Kill me. Mm -mm. Really? This is long time. The meat is tough. You can't break it if I buy it. I think people are uh, that put a long time on. Wow. Terrible. Break it, show them. It can't break. It can't break. And it can't bite neither. Zero. Yeah, man, that one is flat. Uh, Try to buy it. Why is the barbecue soft on top of the chicken? Really? Because I'm allergic to barbecue. Crunchy though. Mm, I put back it. That was so so crunchy. Not bad. The crust is a little bit softer. I give it a seven. Try the mash. On oh, this side, this is what it looks like, y'all. We just try to show the mash. Oh, the mash is not bad, y'all. I like the little sauce. Mm, not bad. The sauce is also very nice and it's hot. Cute. Not bad. Overall, eight and a half out of ten. So if you're ever in Mexico and you're passing a KFC and you're dead for hunger, it can't stop a gap. You're not gonna intentionally come here. It's just like if you have pasta and you say, boy, what make you eat? You're not gonna drop the ketchup that one, yeah. guys the show was um, i would give it a nine out of ten the minus one is because i wish it was a little bit longer right i just wanted a little bit more length but it's a nine out of ten the white scene with the two boy and them screen that was beautiful look almost make it a little bit emotional but jaya overall for me was a nine out of ten it wasn't bad and i think it's a different experience given the fact that you can also dine at the front and enjoy a nice little show that is different different yeah for you yeah you for one for it yeah you have for one for learn stuff and know stuff this is not for everybody we're going correct to, right regular like carry band name something there you have for one for expand your palette and forget something else into it so yeah, i gave it a experiences ten. yes yeah, it was, was short very but different... it's it's beautiful it was a beautiful show and production and in different Mexico. from coco bongo correct let's right. be clear it's very different it's from, from the coco, coco bongo, bongo show, show right, right. yes that's more night time this is more yes. storytelling yes this right. is very much yeah yeah, I yeah man, I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for something different to do outside of going on the beach, partying, having drinks. Yes. This is, you know, yes. you know, if you're interested in theater, um, the arts, music, the arts, music. Um, oh my god! And even if you're not interested in that, just overall, like, just so you want a different vibe. Yeah. They can come up with your family, you can come up with your yes. friends, they can come up with your man. Nice. Yes. yes it's cute. Perfect. Buy a little turn dollar table by the front, eat your three course meal. Mm-hmm. I want a nice for sure. Yeah. It was beautiful guys. I ten out of ten would recommend it to a friend. It was a the underwater scene. Yeah man, fabulous. It was probably my favorite. Fabulous, yes. fabulous. 
Yeah. I like the whites and I like my life when the girls are swimming down for the Hello, book. Hello, and the people are singing and performing at the same live. time. Live. Their yeah. mics are on. Yeah. No joke. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, See man. you, What's What you? Huh? It's too hungry? It was great, guys. I really enjoyed it. Okay. Um, Mexico win, man. Shall, yeah. shall, guys, she's looking for a restaurant for us to have yeah, some food. Okay, we had just popcorn and stuff because we didn't take the one with the with the, the meal. Food. Yeah, the two hundred dollar kind of steep. Yeah, Sorry, no, yeah. Yeah. but you can get a hundred dollar. Yeah, you can get, you get can buy a hundred dollar ticket and you get a little bar stool up at the top. You purchase a popcorn and a Coca Cola. Yeah, but you want to see what them eat. But it, it gave me very fine, yeah, like, like like pure yeah, leaf. Oh. Give me like one of a leaf. Yeah, and they look at some of the green sauce that them throw on it. Yeah, mm. some leaf leaf food. Yeah, but it was good, guys. A hundred dollars was good. That's what I was saying. There's a there's a there's a thing at the front. It's amazing, guys. That's amazing. But guys, you can get the tickets on any um tour website. So you guys on our tour website, but they also we have it on what? there. The, what are the pirates? What was it of the pirates? Attack of the pirates. The, the show. The name of the show. There's a yeah, yeah this one is. The... I think it's something on other pirates, guys. So we watched this something on other pirates. And it's their first week opening, so they have different showings of different no, stories. No, it's stuff. the first time showing that scene. What scene? You said they just added a pirate scene. Oh. Been for 10 years oh. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Hello. So yes, guys. Um. Last night, as I said, was amazing. The Jaya experience. The morning after, we're actually heading to the airport right now. But something important to note is that Ubers don't go everywhere in Cancun. So if you're going out on this trip to the airport or like to Playa de Carmen, you won't have Ubers out there. You're gonna have to definitely get a taxi. Which, as I said at the start of the vlog, you have to have your cash, you have to have your pesos, or your USD. They accept cards here. But when you use the car machine, there's a um, percentage charge up when you use the machine. Um, and some take 15.5, some take 16, and some take 17, because the tour guide man took 17. I had a wonderful time. Some highlights for me were the cenote and the coca Boca for sure. The beach party only because I'm not a party person, and I thoroughly enjoyed that because it was an experience. And I, st and I, I think I became a party person because I don't know, I feel like I've been seeing the same things over and over and over. So here, everything is so experience driven and chef kit. Out of 10, I recommend you guys coming to Mexico. Um, an important thing to note though, if you wanna do the excursions and stuff, you have to have your coins. Majority of the things that we went to was in the price range of- Minimum $100. Right, yeah. so carry like 50 to 100, because Coca Bongo was 60. Traveling $20. The taxi, yes. 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 Very expensive. Yeah, if you're taking the Uber, it's less expensive. Like, yeah, man. Basic food. Basic food, basic right. Food, yeah. yeah. You have to have a little coin when you're coming here. Just a little coin. And watch it all your roots. Right. So if you want to experience something in one area, so you can just eat in that area. area. As well. Right. So have to pay $70 in one day. Right. Yeah. So find a little area, then find somewhere close. They have a lot of stuff though outside of fine dining. They have McDonald's, TGI, Pizza Hut, KFC, IHOP. You know, they have a lot of budget friendly um, places to eat if you want ketchup your stomach because they don't have to fine dine. You can eat regular stuff and enjoy the excursions and put all of your money in the excursions. But we wanted a little bit of both. But it was a very good trip. Very, 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 very good trip. Very, very. Going back to Jamaica, as Cassie said, refreshed, rejuvenated. You might not see my out for a while, my inside I lie down, but I was crazy, it's been a flat. I thought I would have been on my face. I thought I would have been like so wrecked, so tired, but I feel like while I was here, I got enough sleep. But had a time. Hope you guys enjoyed the vloggy vlog. Um, for all the content on all social media, please follow me at Quiet Perry. Like the things them, comment on the things them, go and watch the previous vlog on this channel, the Tulu vlog, or watch it. And if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to, you know, let you know what's up, why free, why chop in the comments. Um, yeah. Um, until the next vlog on this channel, which I don't know when that's going to be. Um, 
and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And am I forgetting anything? I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. Anyways, guys, until next time. Bye!